Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube channel again. Today, we'll be talking about what you should do after you're reaching your natural limits without using steroids, what you can do. Because at a certain point, your progress is slowing down and how you can maximize your results, but also how you think mentally, because you're not gonna make that like crazy progress like you're doing in the first three years of your fitness journey. It's gonna get hard to see a difference in your physique, how you should think and what you should do to not hop on a gear to hurt your health because it's a, like you get, you develop a fitness addiction, the progress addiction to yourself. It's really get hard to not hop on a gear on a steroids and it will hurt and change your like completely like destroy your life that I believe if you're I don't recommend doing those like drugs, but how you can avoid those and what you should do, in my opinion, how I'm handling this natty limit option, but also how you can understand that you hit your natural limits. And yeah, that's gonna be it, guys. So before going to video, I wanna announce that the, the, our program is the Masculine Body Blueprint is open for enrollment right now. If you wanna learn more about it, you can book a free consultation, one-on-one -on -one call with me to talk about your fitness goal so we can create a roadmap for you to, for the next six months, what you should do, how you should train, how you should eat, the exact plan to achieve your goals is gonna be free call and we will talk about if we can help you or not. So. Let's further ado, let's start talking about the natty limits. The first thing guys, how you can understand that you are, you just achieved your natural limits. How the process works. The first three years is gonna be amazing. In the first year of your training, you're gaining 10 kgs, 20 pounds of muscle, not muscle mass. In the next year, you will gain around 12 pounds, 6 kgs of muscle mass. And every single year is kind of, this health is down. For example, third year you will put three kgs, fourth year you maybe put two kgs, and after that you put one kg if you're lucky. Every single year, I'm assuming you're doing everything right. You're eating right, you're going to the gym four to five times per week, spending 10 hours at the gym, and that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna put one kg of muscle mass every single week, so. I hear this a lot. Guys are saying to me, I, I cannot, make progress anymore, am I at my natural limit? And I see that guy is benching 200 pounds. Guy, well, <laughs> dude, what are you talking about? Look, so, if you're not dieting correctly, if you're not hitting your calories and macros, first things first, if your person says to me, I'm hitting my natural limits, I look at their diet, show me your macros and calories that you've tracked for, for the last three months. And what I see is track calories maybe two days in the last three months. You didn't hit your natty limits. It's gonna make it's gonna make huge impact in your progress if you just track your calories and macros. If you're not doing that, don't worry. You're not. You didn't hit your natural limit. Other thing is, I see. Okay, show me your workout tracking. How is your weight? How is your bench? How much you can deadlift for the for, for the past three months? Can you make a progress? When I see that, the person didn't, even didn't know how much he benched in the last, like one year ago. He was just benching 135 pounds of bench press, 60 kg for the past two years. Dude, what the fuck? You, you, you have a shitty program, that's why you cannot make a progress. It's not about you didn't achieve your natty limit. Natty limit is a lot different than that. If you're doing everything correctly, after three years, you're gonna probably bench three plates, pull at least five plates, four plates, like deadlift. I mean, like 200 kg of deadlift, 120 at least bench press, but also like, I'm just talking about strength limits because like strength and muscle are correlated. And yeah, if you are not tracking your workouts, if you're not making progress, and if you cannot even bench two plates, you're not worried about natty limits, you're not there yet, you just need a better program, find a ways to train better, find a ways to like find a better workout program, find a better nutrition program, hit your macros and track your calories. This is the first thing. But I'm assuming you're doing everything right. For example, I did everything right, dude. I'm tracking my calories every single day for the past year. I didn't even miss a one single workout, but I couldn't make a progress. 
Actually, I made a progress. I put like two kgs of muscle muscle last year. Like I'm at the same body fat percentage with I'm two kg heavier, basically. So it's a good progress. I look a lot better, but it was a lot of effort to look that like a little bit of different. I'm already happy with how I look. And in, in the next year, if I do everything right, it's gonna be a lot harder to put one kg of muscle mass. Right now, I just try to enjoy the process in the working out. So I will get there. I will be talking about like how you can like uh, how you can think about you know, your mindset to avoid that the depressed situation. So, like, I've been in this situation for like at least a like, few years. I switched to boxing. Like, I tried a lot of like different things. I I, tr I thought of like quitting this physique bodybuilding thing, but right now, dudes, like how I managed to go to gym four times per week for the past year without even skipping a gym because I don't care about how I look like I don't care about the physique I'm going to achieve after I work out it takes a lot of time and effort it's not worth the worth to look like 10 percent five percent better for me right now because I'm already happy with how I look Let's assume like you have a like Lamborghini at your garage and you can Lamborghini like Hurricane, okay? And you can upgrade it to Aventador or you can like update to Hurricane Evo. Maybe it is $100,000 more expensive, but for that $100,000 of price tag, it's not worth the enjoyment you get. This may personally, it can depend, but it's kind of like that. It's not worth the enjoyment you get. It is only 5% of the, the fun and the enjoyment you get after tons of effort. Okay, you get the Lamborghini, but from going from Purius to Lamborghini is fun. You want that Lamborghini, but once you get it, you're happy with the Lamborghini. You don't want to spend more effort to get another car because you're already happy with it. If you can get it, oh, that's cool, but it, it's not your goal. You get it because of your actions. If if you know what I mean. So that's yeah, guys. So like, if you can put one to two kg, even though you 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 do everything right, that means you're at your natural limits. And usually that happens after three, maybe four years of correct training if you do everything right. But like, usually it takes one to two years of your time if you do it alone to learn this stuff. So if you're training alone, not buying and coaching programs and stuff, usually it will take like seven or eight years of your time to get your natty limit. If you wanna get there in the three years, as I said, you can book a call right below and you can get your potential faster and easier and you learn the best stuff on the fitness industry. And yeah guys, so how I can, I, how I handle the situation, how, how I don't, how I'm not gonna hop on a gear right now and how I manage the situation. The first thing is I focus the enjoyment of the workout. I love it, it's a therapy for me. Yes, I don't build a crazy physique right now. I'm not gonna, I'm not putting like 10 kgs of muscle every single year because I don't focus on that. I don't focus on the result. I just focus on the enjoyment. I like pushing the heavy weights. I like, like, for example, I'm one of the strongest and has it. I have one of the greatest, one of the greatest physiques in my, like, at the gym. I enjoy this alpha moment because every man want to be competitive and want to be best in this your area. So that's cool as well. When I take my shirt off, I get attention. That's another like dopamine hit. But also, I really enjoy working out. That's why. But also, I know it. It's. Like it helping me a lot with my, with mentally, I discharge, it is a therapy for me. So once you know that, you cannot quit working out because you know it's doing too much for you. So you cannot let it go. You, I'm not training for, to put one kg of muscle mass every single year. So if there are a lot of people just, just working out just because they want to put tons of muscle, but when they hit a plateau, they hop on a gear. That's why they hurt their health. That's, I think, mental illness if you don't know what to do. That's a mental illness if you're just hopping on a gear because you want to build more muscle mass. That's my opinion if I do it, but I'm not blaming or like take, like throwing shit to anyone. That's it's only myself. And yeah, that's how I manage. I just focus 
So how I, I focus on the enjoyment of the working out, that's I think how we can do the same as well. If you just focus the enjoyment of the working out after this period, you can keep this physique easily just with one workout, two workout per week, one hour per session. It's not hard to keep your muscle mass. It's very easy. So I think your goal can be like, okay, I will hit my natal limit in the three years. I will build this physique. But after that, I can decide on what to do. I can decide on doing another sport like a boxing using that muscle mass. Maybe you can be a power lifter using that muscle mass or you can just enjoy having one of the model physiques in your life like one of the best physiques in your like whole life in your career in your work you will get a lot of compliments it will change your life you will look like a model you will gonna be the, the main character in your life basically you have you will have abs you will have a handsome face because you don't have a fat puffy geek face that's what's gonna happen if you just have one of the greatest physiques and you will just train one time per week if you do the upfront work to achieve your natty limits that's how i think right now i go to the gym four times per week because i enjoy doing it but also i enjoy the making a little progresses but i'm not focused on the progress because it's not worth the effort to get these little results with that i can constant constantly go to the gym i enjoy my workouts but also like I enjoy my strength in the other sports as well. I, I play tennis, I can hit really hard because I have the muscle mass. But also I have like, I just enjoy having this physique, this confidence came with it, this masculinity, this work ethic, this discipline comes with it. The effort you've made to build this physique like benefits your life a lot than you think. It will change your life guys. Just give it for six months and do everything right. and see what i'm talking about your whole life is gonna like transform if you are if you are like crazy about self-improvement and stuff just start with your fitness it's gonna be the easier but also change your whole life i think it's gonna make the best impact in your life and yeah and do not worry about the natty limit just do everything right in three years and if you're not doing everything right for the three years it will take eight years of your life so if you want to know how to do that get the accountability from us the coaching the education so you will not need a single you don't need to spend a single penny to another personal training or coaching or program in your whole life so you will save thousands of dollars you will save years of your life and but also you will have your physique guaranteed or we will work you work with you for free until you get your results or money back guaranteed yeah guys that was it you can book a call right below the video but also you can follow me on instagram i post like we like daily update of our lives but also a lot of value as well with reels and stuff and yeah you can ask me anything you want on my instagram if it is private if not you can comment below and yeah guys that was it and see you guys at another video bye